Okay. Do you have the book open now? When you do have it open, go to page seven of the book, please. Page seven. So it's page seven. It's a uh, 2013 paper, B3, section B3. Charles, have you got your phone or what? You're sharing, yeah? It's fine. So there are multiple versions? Oh my goodness. Sorry, it's a very thin Yes, the PDF file called, it, it's not the folder, it's the PDF file. Yes. Guys, come on! Anthony, you have the file there? It's open, page 7. Okay, I'm going to have to start it now. So, page 7, 2013, section B, question 3. It's like what we were doing today, so it's a good time to be doing this question. A manufacturer produces boxes for fruit. Each box is the same shape of a cuboid with base 4x, height x, sorry, 4x by x and height h. So they've given you a diagram there. And what you have is a base here of 4x centimeters, x centimeters, and the height is h. So let me just draw that as best I can. It's not so bad. Yeah. And the height is h. So first one, oh, and they also say that the volume <coughs> needs to be 1,024 um, cubic centimeters, cm cube. I don't think the choice of uh, 1,024 was an accident here. I can see that the base is 1x and 4x. And 1024 is also a 2 to a power. So I wouldn't be surprised if the height was something like 16, 32, or 64. So they all look like base 2 numbers. But anyways, we'll find out shortly. So the first part is A, get the height in terms of x. So we know that the volume is 1024. And the formula for volume is 4x by x by h equals 1024. So we have 4x squared h equals 1024. h equals 1024 over 4x squared. So that gives us the four marks for part A. So write that down so far. That's part A done. Oh, I could simplify this. The question didn't mention anything about simplifying. I can divide above and below by four, so I'd get 256 yeah. over x squared. That, that would be the final Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the question never said simplify. So I would have been happy with the previous one. Okay, guys, focus now. Yes. H equals something to do with X. Usually, you get this from the volume. <coughs> That's it for A. Four marks, okay? Now, the next part is they want the surface area. Again, like what we did today. In fact, it's easier because the area is just of rectangles. There's one here, and then there's one here, and there's one here. And of course, each one on the front has one on the back as well. 
So whatever I had for these three, I just double it, I get all six then. So this green one in the front, if you can kind of imagine it, it has a matching red one in the back. In other words, it's six sides. If you got it for three of them, just double your answer so you don't have to write down six terms. So the answer will be area equals twice the first one, which is 4x by x. That's the front. Now the side is xh. And then the top is um, 4x x on the top 4x by x so you get 2 4x squared plus xh plus 4x squared so 4x squared plus 4x squared is 8x squared by 2 16x squared xh is xh by 2 2xh Problem? 4x by x? That's that one. Sorry, I maybe I yeah, maybe missed it. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4x x minus 4x. It's 4xh. The last one. 4xh. 4 4x. 4, okay, maybe I've. 4, oh, wait, just double check. Oh, sorry, yes, I did this. 4x by this is 4xh and then the next one is x h. by h and then the last one is 4x, 4x by x. x so I don't have 4x, I've done one twice, sorry I don't have 4xx here I should have 4xh 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 well that's not great because it means nothing goes together but oh well Oh, the, yeah. oh, these two do. Oh, that's something. So, xh plus 4xh is 5xh by 2 is 10xh plus 8x just 8x squared, yeah. Okay, that's the B. Ah, we're not finished yet because they want it with only x, not h. If you see the question... So that's okay, I just take this answer and put it in for h. 10x h One line to go. 2560 over x plus 8x squared. All right, so we've gotten their formula they wanted for area. Was this an exam? Well, yeah, this, like, these are all actual exam papers from each year. This was the one last year. Twenty. Sorry, this is twenty thirteen paper uh, year. Section This is B. B three, yeah. Okay, can I go on to the next part? Yes? Yeah. C is now we want to find the value of x that makes this a minimum. So, derivative here. dx dA. Now, if it helps, remember that this one is like x power minus 1 here. Instead of divided by x. So, it will be minus 2560x power minus 2 plus 16x power 1. And I want this to equal 0 for the minimum point. So I get 16x equals 2560x minus 2. So I get 16x equals 2560 over x squared. So I get x cubed equals 2560 over 16. And it doesn't, I was hoping it actually would work out nice, but it hasn't worked out nice here. 
Um, cube root this answer? 5.43. Yeah, 5. 5.43 centimeters. And the last part is they want to find the area. Well, that's super easy now, because now that you know x, you just plug it back into your formula for a, and you've gotten the area. So with the answer still on my calculator, um, 2560 over answer, plus what was that, squared? 8x squared. 8 answer squared. And the area is coming in at 707 centimeters cubed is the area then. Why did we see minimum value? Yeah. We want to check that this is a minimum. It doesn't ask us to check. We better check. Um, but you could have minimum or maximum. So we found it, what could be the minimum or maximum. Now I know it's going to be the minimum. But just to make sure that it is the minimum, on the side here, I'll do the second derivative. So that would be 2560 times 2. Let me just hit that in. 2560 times 2. 5120 x to the power of minus 3 plus 16. Yeah. Is this number positive or negative when I put x in? And remember x is 5.43. So positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So positive second derivative means it's convex, which means it's a minimum. Yeah. Just like that. with colors. Um, right, so that is like what we were doing today. And as you can see for yourself, it's right there as an exam question.